We present learning navigation for arbitrary mobile manipulation motions in unseen and dynamic environments. Mobile manipulation tasks are ubiquitous in both service and industrial settings, but to efficiently control arm and base simultaneously remains a challenge. This is made even more difficult in dynamic, partially unknown and human-centered environments. While defining whole body motions illustrated by the arrows below is highly challenging, many mobile manipulation tasks can be defined by their end effector motion, shown in green. This is both expressive and simple to specify for humans. Given arbitrary end effector motions, we train a reinforcement learning agent to control the base of the robot. We then generalize and extend previous work on learning kinematic feasibility to complex obstacle scenarios. First, a simple motion generator produces the next desired end effect motions. The agent observes these motions, together with a local occupancy map and the robot state, to produce controls for the base, motion velocities and torso joints. Finally, an inverse kinematic solver solves for the remaining arm joints. The agent's goal is to ensure that the end effect motions remain kinematically feasible by minimizing deviations and collisions and producing smooth actions. To train the agent, we procedurally generate random obstacle maps in an analytical environment and maximize the objective with Model 3 RL on three kinematically diverse robotic platforms, the PR2, HSR and Tiago. At test time, we perform zero-shot transfer to unseen tasks and end effect motions, such as random spline motions, door opening tasks, or pick and place tasks. Next, we transfer the same policies to unseen physics, asynchronous execution, and the real low-level controllers in both the Gazebo simulator shown below and the real world. We then demonstrate that the same policies scale to large human-centered environments and complex unseen obstacle geometries such as this bookstore map in which the robots have to perform a pick and place task. Even though trained purely on static obstacles, the agent is able to immediately react to dynamic obstacles and changes in the environment at test time. The flexibility of the reinforcement learning approach means that there is no additional cost for replanning. Finally, we transfer these policies into the real world onto two real world robots, the PR2 and the HSR. Again, this is a zero-shot transfer. We evaluate the robots on the same tasks as in simulation. For the PR2 we build a small environment in the robot hall. For the HSR we directly evaluate it in our own offices. In this first task the robots have to follow pick and place motions while avoiding both static and dynamic obstacles. The bottom right shows the view of the robot. Both the global map in which the end effect motions are planned in grey and the inputs to the reinforcement learning agent, which are a local map shown in color around the agent. The robots have never seen these environments, nor any of these real-world obstacles.
Next, we demonstrate the door opening task. Again, this motion has never been observed by the agent before. Note that this task is particularly challenging for the PR2, as the door frame is barely wider than its base. The inputs to the RL agent are shown on the right with the local map in blue. We find that the agents generalize very well to the real-world sensor readings and are robust to things such as the LiDAR reflections in the glass door. Next, we perform a cabinet opening task on the left and a drawer opening task on the right. Even though these motions impose very different constraints, the robots have learned to consistently perform all of these tasks. We evaluate each of these tasks over a large number of episodes with random start and obstacle poses. Finally, we evaluate the agents on arbitrary motions based on the spline interpolation of random points. You can find the paper, code and videos on our project website.